When we speak about protecting the environment and using resources efficiently while minimizing waste and pollution, we employ the popular catchphrase decoupling. Decoupling of economic growth from unsustainable use of resources and from other undesired environmental repercussions. It means to successfully detach the continuation of economic growth from damaging the environment. This requires taking seriously both production and consumption patterns, but policies and actions taken to date had focused mainly on the production side, promoting, for example, cleaner production and technologies, waste minimization, recycling, and eco-design. Unfortunately, they've had only incrementally beneficial effects. As production becomes more and more efficient, costs are decreasing, manufacturing is growing, and consumption levels are rising. This is what we call rebound effects. Now, let's talk about servicizing. We all use services to get jobs done, and we use them more and more. According to the Statistical Office of the European Union, almost 70% of employed persons in the EU27 worked in the service sector in 2011, compared with 62% in 2000. We now live in a service economy, an economy that more than half of its total labor force is employed by the service sector. The potential link between a service economy and sustainable development was proposed by Walter Stahel. According to Stahel, traditional industrial economy places the central value on the exchange of the products being consumed. On the other hand, service-oriented economy recognizes the value of utilization where the consumer pays for using the product. This is in fact a function-based economy in which the product is a mere means of providing function. In a function-based economy, consumption is not based on accumulating goods and self-owning them, but the focus is rather on buying the services provided by the goods. Instead of traditional purchasing, we are now buying services. We pay for the printing service according to the number of printings instead of paying for the printer itself. This reduces the need for new products while increasing the demand for high quality products that are durable enough to cope with far greater use by many rather than one consumer. On the other hand, suppliers are making all efforts in order to increase the durability of their printers which they now continue to own. Servicizing, therefore, influences both production and consumption patterns. Thank you for taking the time to learn about servicizing, and if you wish to learn a bit more, you're welcome to visit us at www.spreeproject.com.